Joe Chris County 911. What's the address of the emergency? Yes, ma'am. I, I um I just shot my daughter and shot all my grandkids, and I'll be sitting on my step. And then when you get here, I'm going to shoot myself. What is the address that you're at, sir? 2550 Northwest, 25 Paris, downstairs. There, there, every one of them are dead. Uh, you said your name is Don Spirit. Yep. All right, Don. What kind of gun do you have? It doesn't matter what kind of gun I got. They're all dead, and then when you get here, I'll shoot myself, and then you figure out what kind of gun it is. And how long did this happen, Don? I, I, I don't want to hear it, man. I'm done with all, every fucking thing. Just bring the motherfuckers out here, that's all. We got all the kids are dead in the house. Okay, how many people? Okay, how many people? Six kids, one adult. Six kids and one adult? Yeah. One of them is a baby. Alright, Don, is there any way you can stay on the phone with me until I get somebody there to help you? What's that? Can I ha have you stay on the phone with me? No, I, no, not that. I'm waiting for them to get here. When they get here, I'm going to shoot myself on my back step. All I'm doing is waiting for them. Are you sitting on your back steps? Yep. Currently, I am driving down Northwest 29th Terrace, and I'm going to show you the spot where that horrible tragedy occurred on September 18th, 2014, where six children, including the mother, Sarah Spirit, were brutally massacred by their father and grandfather, Don Spirit. As I'm driving through this neighborhood right now, I'm not gonna lie, this place gives me the creeps, not just because of what happened here, it's just a very desolate, very weird environment to say the least. And uh, this is it right here. It's a very eerie, surreal place looks pretty empty right now. Might be somebody living there, but I'm not really sure. All right, we're going to drive about four miles or so down to the cemetery to where the uh, victims are buried. You had a lot of failures with local government agencies, the DCF, Department of Children and Family Services. They would be the CPS to some of you out there that don't live in Florida. A lot of failures going on in there. Seven people brutally murdered by a sick and twisted individual who, according to former neighbors that have known or have lived next to him throughout the years in Bell and in Tampa that he was just human filth. And there's no way that these kids should have ever been living anywhere near that monster. Even two weeks before this massacre occurred, DCF had got word of drug use being rampant throughout the household. They should have never been anywhere near that place.
That's the mother Sarah with her brother Kyle. That is the son who, in my opinion, was killed on November 14, 2001 in a, quote, hunting accident. A killing in which he only did three years in prison. He should have gone for the rest of his life. This could have easily been prevented by many, many people. Many people. A three-month-old baby right there, Alana. Three months old. Two weeks before her sixth birthday. Four years old, Brandon. Eight-year-old Jonathan. Nine-year-old Kylie. And 11-year-old Caleb. I'm at a loss for words right now. This uh, cemetery has a very odd vibe to it. Maybe it's the terrain of it. It's just kind of a sad setting. It's very quiet around here. There's not many houses. What possesses a man? What possesses a monster? I... Who knows? I have no idea. Do you? You let me know. I have no idea. I don't know. If anybody ever makes it out to Bell to visit this grave, do me a favor. That bird feeder right there, it's going to be empty by the time I get a chance to come back here to refill it. So you do a favor to any and all the birds, these children, whoever. Bring a bag of bird seed from Walmart or from Tractor Supply, your your go-to store for uh, for uh, bird feed, or what have you. All right, I'm out.